Hi, I'm Joanna Mel, and I just want to show you a short tutorial on playing a great little exercise called church bells. This is going to show you how to play thirds on the harp very beautifully. So what you want to do is this is, uh, works for either the right hand and the left hand, and I strongly encourage you to do it with both hands, not at once, but right hand first and then left hand. Okay, so with your harp in C, you're going to put your two on middle C and thumb on E. Now this is important. You see my thumb? It's nice and tall. You have to get your thumb nice and tall. And also, please bend your thumb forward just a tiny bit so that this surface right here, this surface is flat. A lot of people's thumbs tend to collapse and they do this, so to pull it off the string is difficult, or I have a really bad thumb in my right thumb. You really should keep it bent forward a little bit, and I prefer to keep my third, fourth, and fifth fingers out with my two so that they can support each other and so I never injure myself, okay? So you're gonna get on with this beautiful hand position, thumb up, and two down here. The rest of the fingers are kind of hanging out here, all right? Now, this is the important thing. You're gonna squeeze the string first gently and try to put even pressure on both notes. What you want to do to produce a beautiful sounding interval is make sure that the pressure is even on both strings. So you're gonna press, Shut and float, relax, okay? Press, shut, float. When you float, it releases all the tension in your arm and your hand. And you want to wind up like this, not like this, or like this, or like that. <laughs> you really want to just shut your fingers. The thumb works that way, and the fingers work this way, and you have to... Close them so the hand winds up like this, and then nice float and relax. Then we're going to go up to the D and the F. Same thing. And you want to listen carefully. Can you hear both notes? Float and play. Relax and keep that thumb up. Also, listen to the beautiful sound coming from your heart. Now we're gonna go down. This is high C and high E. And play, relax, play, relax. Very nice. Now the left hand. Okay, so thumb bend forward a little bit. And D and F. Keep your elbow up. The float actually comes from your whole entire arm. It's not this. That's a fling. It's not a float. This is a float. You should feel like there's angels just carrying your arm up to the ceiling. Okay. exercise is helpful to you and you're harping and remember go slow and listen enjoy your harp